I've shown you how not to do it. Um, and I've attacked some color corrects and I've attacked kind of the the lifting and, and the uh, the white point and the black point. So how would we do it? How should we actually do this? Well, let's put a gray node in. Let's start actually seeing this guy in. First of all, when I'm matching something to a plate, I always want to match the contrast. Now, other people may have different ways of doing it. I'm just gonna kind of show you my method that, that seems to, to work for me. Um, so you always wanna match your contrast. Now, what is contrast? Well, contrast is just the relationship between your brightest value and your darkest value. Now, if I put these in, you can see that the monster is kind of fairly contrasting. See, this is the brightest value and this is the darkest value. What? Well, this is the darkest value. And you can see that bright and dark are further apart, I'd say, than this bright and dark, right? They feel kind of closer together, these two, than these two. So first of all, we need to remove that contrast or have less contrast in our, our CG. So what we're gonna do is gamma is your contrast. What you'll generally hear is if you need to reduce the contrast something, you'd gamma down, and, and you can see it gets darker there, and you would then gain up. Um, so that's generally what you'll hear. So you have to kind of, all of these settings I'm gonna show you today will always adjust something else. So you kind of, it's a balance snap between all of them. Um, and if you want to reduce the contrast in this as we do, we gamma up, and it's gonna get brighter and less contrasty as you can see. This is very contrasty. Gamma up just a little bit and then gain down. And what I'm doing when I'm gaining down is I'm just trying to kind of sit the brightness in again. So let's gamma up a little bit more. And what I'm trying to do is just get it so that it's feeling like the relationship between these is a little better. So let's turn this on and off. And you can see that starts feeling like the contrast is closer, right? You can see instantly, by the way, if you reduce the contrast on something, it will push it back in depth. You can see the minute I do that, it's now pushed back in depth. It feels like it's kind of sat in there. Whereas before it feels like it's almost popping out the mountain. Um, and now it's sat back in there. Now again, I might need to adjust that later on, but for now, that's good enough. That's good enough for a first pass. Then what I do is, next up I like to do kind of the highlights. Your highlights is your gain. Um, so if ever you need to adjust the brightness of something, that's your gain, that's, that's this one here. Um, so let's go in and have a look at that. So what I could do is, okay, I could kind of play around with it here, but even better, let's look at our really dark one, and we can even go a bit darker, and we can view this, okay? And as I was saying earlier, like, this is a shiny path here. So should this be brighter than here? I actually think it should be. If this was kind of like a wet kind of mountain, um, as I think it looks like, then I actually think it should be kind of shinier than, than here and a little bit brighter. So let's have a look then at that grade. And you can see, I can barely see these two things. This might be quite tricky depending on the screen you're on, but hopefully you can see that this is just a touch kind of brighter than here, but I want it to just exaggerate that a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the gain down ever so slightly and go in and view that. Okay, that feels quite nice. Um, that feels pretty good for me. That feels pretty good. I mean, I may wanna bring it up just a little bit in case he feels like he's almost kind of too sat into that mountain, um, but that feels pretty good. So next up, once you feel like you're in the right general ballpark of these, it's your black levels. Um, and to do black levels, some people would go for the lift here. I quite like using the toe. Um, now what the toe is actually doing under the hood is, let me draw a little graph for you here. That's basically your color graph. And this is the toe and this is the shoulder. What the toe is going to do is it's basically, as I drag this slider up, it will then start bringing up these black values like this to put them about here. So it's only gonna adjust this part of our image, which is the toe. Uh, some companies I've been at have a node called a shoulder node, which is just to adjust this, these kind of highlights bits. Um, but there you go. The lift is okay. Um, I just personally prefer using, using the toe. Um, and I picked this up when I was at ILM. I was using the lift before and they kind of used the toe and it was just a, a really nice way of doing it. Uh, it just gives you a bit more control. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to control click here and this is going to give us this pop-up. If you've never clicked that before, you're probably going to see it like this. I would turn on HSV and TMI because TMI is the thing that we always want to be using. Um, it allows us to add warmth to make it a bit cooler and to add magenta or green and then we can then adjust the overall brightness here. So these are the general slides you want to be. I've never been... Um, it, I've never really had a note of how hey, I want you to make the shadows a bit more red. It's always warmer, cooler, um, if I'm honest with you. So these, this gives you a slide that's like, okay, if it's warmer, okay, I'll just drag it that way. It's nice and simple. Um, so let's view this saturation node. 
And first of all, we need to get the brightness right. So we're gonna bring this up. And I'm gonna get that in the general ballpark. And then we're gonna put some color into it. So then we're gonna start putting a bit of blue in. And you can see there, that, that really helps. Now, the problem we've got is, our contrast isn't right. Can you see how, how well the minute I do this, it's really crushing everything, can you see? And this is the problem, by the way, with the, when, when you set your blacks, you can see sometimes it's gonna kinda like crush everything and you lose all this detail. That's probably because this is a bit too high. So if you ever feel like that, that's probably just because you need to reduce the contrast a little bit more. And then we're gonna then have to adjust our brightness down again, like this. So let's start bringing that back again. Let's turn that on, first of all. And you can see now we're having to kind of hit it less to get to that part. So we're just gonna bring this in. Now, I actually don't mind this being a little bit darker than here because maybe um, the that tree is actually a little darker in these certain areas. Um, so that's absolutely fine. Again, this is probably my value I need to match to. And we can bring this up a little bit. And you can see now if I turn these on and off, that's matching way closer. Now, I think maybe I've gone a little too over the board with the purple. So let's just ease off on that. Maybe I've gone a little bit too overboard on the on the orange there. And maybe actually, you know what? I might want to put a touch of warmth in there because again, that mountain maybe is a little bit cooler than this than this monster, which is kind of wood or warm bark. So we'd maybe be able to just affect and add just a touch more warmth in there. And you can see how that really helps sit this guy in there, right? You can see he's really kind of like sitting in and that's really helping um, him feel like he's in there. And he's now got those values matching. And again, you might want to just adjust that ever so slightly if you feel like it needs it, but we're in the general ballpark now. So let's view this. And then you can see, there we go. There's our monster that has been sat in to the plate. Now for me personally, once you've done these cha these changes of getting it roughly in there, now you can start thinking creatively. So for instance, in a shot like this, okay, I want people to be looking here. So I might go a touch brighter on his head. In that case, I'd maybe just wanna add a touch of contrast back and just bring that up ever so slightly um, in there, just to kind of help him pop out just a little bit from the mountain. You can see now he's not popping out quite so much. But if I turn these on and off, you can see before, this guy really stood out, like the black was gonna feel wrong, his head's gonna feel way too bright, and now, okay, now he's nicely sat in that image. Now, if you felt like, okay, that's okay, but I want him to actually be a little bit warmer, so he really pops out even further. Let's hit control in our game, and the color wheel, and that's gonna pop out this same thing. So as I was saying earlier, you wanna match to the plate, so for instance, you can see this is kind of like a, a warm leather it looks like, like a dark, orangey brown leather, same with his belt, and his hair is kind of a, a reddy color. So I can use that to maybe, as a reference, so for instance, let's go back to our saturation, and you can see how kind of green this guy is, right, compared to here. So let's add a little bit of purple in, and then add a little bit of warmth in. And you can see he starts feeling like he's a bit closer towards this. And let's do that. And there you go, now we've got it so that he's kind of no longer that blue color, but he's kind of feeling more warm. And again, you could totally adjust this afterwards, by the way, if you feel like when you're viewing through the saturation, I think it's matching, but when you're viewing here, you still feel like it needs a bit of adjustment, then feel free to kind of go in there and really adjust this stuff. Um, the saturation is just a great way to get you closer to what you should be doing. It's kind of, I love it because you can't, it's very hard for you to kind of muck up here. Um, it, it's, it's kind of nice and easy. Okay, look, that clearly isn't matching that color, uh, and that's clearly a bit more blue, so maybe we'd pump a bit more blue in. Um, but it just makes it nice and easy, because you look at this now, and it's like, it looks black and white, right? Um, so there you go. Now we've got this guy sat in to that plate. 